Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with top leaders in Turkey today, and he spoke with President Erdogan and the country's foreign minister after touring the earthquake-damaged area there. This weekend, Blinken promised $100 million to aid, uh, in aid rather, to help with recovery efforts in Turkey and Syria. And yesterday, Blinken took time out of his travels to speak with Face the Nation about the war in Ukraine. He and Margaret Brandon discussed China's military support for Russia. We have seen Chinese companies, and of course in China there's really no distinction between private companies and the state. We have seen them provide non-lethal support uh, to, uh, to Russia for use in Ukraine. The concern that we have now is based on information we have that they're considering providing lethal support. And we've made very clear to them that that would cause a serious problem for us and in our relationship. Lethal support. What would that entail? What, what, what do you weapons. think of? Weapons. That's ammunition. That's primarily weapons. Primarily. There's a whole gamut of things that, yeah. that, that fit in that category, for everything from ammunition to the weapons themselves. CBS News foreign correspondent Ramey Inocencio is joining us now uh, to discuss. So, first off, we should say that the Secretary of State, uh, this plan to visit um, Turkey was in the works before the uh, earthquakes, but now because of that, that, that the tour had been added to his schedule. Can we talk about, you know, where he focused, what he saw? Absolutely, Henry. And uh, first off, I should say that uh, Secretary of State Blinken's trip his tour to Turkey has been a long time coming. It's been uh, two years since he has become Secretary of State. And actually, uh, former Secretary of States, including Hillary Rodham Clinton, had gone to Turkey, which is uh, uh, an ally of Washington, mm -hmm. uh, in the first three months of their time in office. So it, it speaks to the tension that has been existent between Washington and Ankara, especially after 2019, when Ankara bought Russian defense systems uh, over the uh, a protest of Washington. But to your point, Blinken is there right now uh, looking at the damage uh, in Turkey. He set off from Incirlik Air Base by helicopter. That's about um, a little less than 100 miles away from the quake zone. He got an overview from the air of the region, the region of Hatay, and that's the worst hit province from those two quakes that hit about two weeks ago. And he said, when you see the extent of the damage, the, the number of homes that have been destroyed, it's going to take a massive effort to rebuild. But then he also said that the U.S. really basically is in it for the long haul. We'll stick with it until we get the job done. And he also broke some news that the U.S. government was going to provide another $100 million in U.S. government assistance. Now, where is that money going? It's going to ref a refugee fund um, for refugees coming across the border, uh, $50 million there. Another $50 million is coming from a humanitarian relief fund. And this money, he said, is going to go uh, not just to Turkey, but also to Syria. He stressed that because we know that there has been a lack of transparency, a lack of money going to Syria, more eyes, uh, more hands going to Turkey. This in total brings a total number, uh, a total assistance from the U.S. government to $185 million. And that, according to the State Department, is on top of another $66 million that's coming from NGOs. Uh, Ramey, and there's so much more on the agenda. Unfortunately, this is the only area that we can talk about, but he is uh, meeting with uh, Erdogan to talk about other things, including Finland and Sweden's quest to become part of NATO. Hopefully we can pick up the conversation later. Ramey and Asensio, thank you. Sure thing.